Sirik the Mad betrayed his friends Midnight and Kelimvor and sought to destroy them, who ascended to godhood and now spreads his lies and intrigues into every corner of Faerun, who is the Lord of Murder, the Prince of Lies, and Insane. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I am your host Liam, aka Hemvar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler for your view of Troy Denning's Crucible, The Trial of Sirik the Mad. Crucible, The Trial of Sirik the Mad is a 1998 novel by Troy Denning and is technically a sequel to Prince of Lies, which was a sequel to the Avatar trilogy, so this is sometimes considered the fifth Avatar book. Uh, now, Denning did write the third in that trilogy, Waterdeep, and I have reviewed all of these so far on my channel. They are spoiler-free, and the first one is Shadowdale, if you go and find that, although I might link it here. Now, the book starts with a recounting of Sirix told by Malik El Sami in Nazar of Kalimshan as he looks for the Serenishad, which is a holy object that was created um, at the beginning uh, of Prince of Lies. It's a book if you don't know or don't remember, of course, but if you're watching this, of course, just a reminder that Serenishad, if you are Reddit, then you are automatically converted to Sirix, which is just kind of odd, but it even works against gods. Uh, and the problem is that Sirik has heard it read, and so he believes all these lies that he made up. And so he's insane. And uh, so there is a forward, um, but it's the prologue continues in recounting the events of Prince of Lies, which took place in 1368 DR, which is three years earlier than this book. So that'd be 1371. Now, Malik works for the Caliph Najron, who has, well, who has also read the Serenishad, or had it read to him. With Sirik's humiliation as Intel Keep at the end of Prince of Lies, the Caliph sent out agents throughout the land to spy and discover the plans of the gods Mistra and Kelimvor um, and Ogma and others. And after a time, an army loyal to Sirik is before Candle Keep as they discover that's where the Serenishad is held. Interestingly enough, uh, Malik narrates the story in its entirety, so it's a first person point of view uh, when it's when it's about him and there are other points of views that seem to have been told to him probably by Sirik since that is his god um, and these points of views are from uh, Mistra and Kalimvor uh, mostly though we also do get par parts from Tempest god of war and I think it's been a while I actually finished this one a while ago but maybe Mask as well the god of thieves and when you get those of course it's a third person because but it's still this intradiagetic narrator of malik and so he's like you know when it's mistress is like time to be talking or whatever he'll call her like a harlot or even nastier words right you know just like which is not normally what a narrator would do when doing a third person narrative so it was very interesting to have a story basically told from this evil person's point of view right it's follower of Sirik. Now, as I did mention, Mask appears in this book like he does in Prince of Lies, so if you like Mask, this way might still be a good one for you. He is avoiding Kezif, who he tricked in the fourth book, so Kezif the Chaos Hound is chasing him. Gwydion and Rinda, two characters from the previous book, are also here as well, and they are guarding the center chat as they were charged with at the end of the book. Uh, more importantly, is that Kelimvor, Adon, Mistra, and Sirik still have character arcs and are not static even though three of the four are now gods and one of the, and the other one is worshiping one of his old friends that is now a god and so it's very interesting that these gods really go through these changes and they're probably i guess at the end of this book are where we would see these gods if we were to go play DD now um though of course this mystery would have got killed <laughs> um a little over a decade after this during the spell plague but um she's back now so i mean basically these are the same gods and like the ways they are like anyways i'm not going to spoil it for you but they do have character development which <clears throat> was very interesting so there's also a lot of politicking in this book mostly between the gods so tempest mask and some other stuff it's very serious actually um though we do not really get any appearance of lord ao the over god uh there is a, sh a side character of the shao prince tang um who i believe is on the cover of the first edition actually there's a Brom reprint and then the first edition we also have Ruha from the Parched Sea and the Veiled Dragon. Those are books 1 and 12 of the Harper series, which were written by Troy Denning, so it kind of makes sense that she appears here. I have not read those yet, but it didn't see, that didn't seem to be a problem to me, honestly. 
Um, honestly, didn't even write in a very straightforward manner. And honestly, I do think he does a good while, a good job of getting the feel of the world down. I know he does a lot of like IP fiction for writing for like Halo, for example, and other worlds. Um, you know, I didn't expect it, uh, but he even manages to fit in some good philosophy into the story, which is really impressive. I actually really enjoyed reading this one. It was a very interesting, thought-provoking read, which isn't always the case with Forgotten Realms, but uh, I can think of actually another Denning book set in the Forgotten Realms that was. Uh, just some takes on uh, war, like worship, like, you know, just religion in general, um, like what being good is and like what responsibilities are, like very interesting stuff. So I actually really enjoyed this one. And I'm also happy that I've got finished uh, through another Forgotten Realms series. So that is the another one down. I was thinking of probably I'd probably go into the Cormier Saga next, but um, a change of events has occurred. So I'll probably go into Shangela's Saga next. Um, but I will talk more about that later. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to talk more Forgotten Realms or whatnot, you can join the Discord. That'll be linked below. And it's been Liam with Liam's Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.